Well, hello, and welcome back here to the Rim World. Now, we're we're still recovering from the last uh, fight, which wasn't particularly too bad, but uh, we weren't exactly prepared for it, and Hay House here is starting to suffer. Uh, he's bleeding out from a few cuts. Not particularly in a good uh, state. He's, 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 a bit, uh, he's in a bit of pain, and all in all, he's not in a good state so let's let's get him sorted out immediately so we'll make his bed a medical bed problem is he's our doctor so we'll make lane a doctor temporarily so we can do this prioritize treating hay house there we go that elk will be quite comfortable where it is well i should imagine so it's quite considerably dead so uh I'm not entirely certain his opinion is going to matter. Um, oh, there's a parker there we got from the fight. Uh, I don't want to store a parallel outside. I don't. I want it to be, all be moved indoors so it doesn't rot. And um, actually, tell me, prioritize holding that cloth parker. There we go. Thank you very much. Yes, this time around, I think my priority is going to be um, dealing with food. We are into August now. We don't have much left of a growing season. We don't actually have that much food to show for it either. So I'm going to uh, do some things here. I'm going to make a, a bigger, bigger growing area here. In fact, I think we might make quite a bit of a growing area here. And... Also, I want to uh, make a place to farm mushrooms, so we'll just put that off here, I think. So, a little bit of wall here, like that, and put a mining order in. Like that, yep, that's a nice big room. And what I want to do is just leave that to allow mushrooms to grow into it, and then occasionally I'll, I'll get people to come in there to harvest things. So, hey, House is up on his feet. How are you doing? Yeah, you've had... Yeah, you, your left lung has been bandaged, apparently. Okay, sutured, that's alright. It's been poorly sutured, but hopefully you'll get better. You're our only doctor. He's not in a happy mood. Hopefully you're getting some food in him. Yeah, that'll cheer him up. Excellent, there we go. So, that's no longer a medical bed. And we will set that back to owned by Hay House. And this bed, we shall put... Uh, give to Val. That means I can then get rid of this bed here. So, there we go. Right. So, that's... Uh, that's going to be our new mushrooms area. And let's uh, make ourselves some more growing zones here. So we have a growing zone. Why should we do this? Don't do it like this. Okay, so six by six. Not there. Six by six. Okay, it's a little bit of a a hole in the middle there, but I think we can live with that. And we'll see how we get on with those. So in these oh, Yeah, can't do anything with that. Okay, right. In these, we shall put... Um, we've got potato, we've got corn. Let's have rice and strawberries. There we go. Now we're growing a lot of different crops. It's going to make it easier for us to make nicer meals later on. I mean, this is all needs clearing out, but uh, they will get down to that. Nice big harvest coming in there. One of the reasons I, I, we do want Hay House on his feet is... Um, he's our hauler. Yeah, he's looking a lot better now, that's good. They're back on their feet. The mushrooms are starting to grow in here already, which is excellent. Structure, wooden door. We'll just stick a door there. And zones home region yeah it's, home, it's in the home region so they will tidy it up and things like that a new area has been discovered 
not much of an area really, was it? Never mind. Okay. Nine. Uh, can you get some of these? This stuff hauled for me. Uh, that's very good of you. In fact, can you get all of this hauled for me? Because it's it would be a total shame for this just to rot, wouldn't it? Too worried about the clubs. Does squirrel skin rot? Yes, it does. So we'll get you to haul that as well. Now the squirrel might recognise it. Oh, so he's holding squirrel skin. And let's just make sure that that stuff isn't supposed to be stored here. Um, Yeah, uh, it shouldn't be stored outside. It's just nobody's got around to moving it yet. Okay, I'm right. I'm happy with that. The only problem with all this rain is it's starting to rot our wood. But you know, to, now I've got to be honest with you here. I'm not actually worried about wood as a resource. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about the guys walking past these corpses all the time. And in fact, to be totally honest with you, structure, wood wall. Let's do something about that as a matter of fact so let's just just wall that off like that so people can walk past it without seeing it there we go right so we have our story uh, our, our mushroom area here which is already starting to get some mushrooms in there I'm just gonna let that fill up and occasionally just harvest it and thinking of harvesting let's let's harvest the uh, the um, stuff we have already. So harvest plants. There we go. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, bills. Configure. Yep, they're in there and they're being used. Okay. So they will make mo uh, meals out of those mushrooms, which is brilliant. Saving the meat for winter. Now it's refreeze. Uh, now it's frozen. It won't spoil. And uh, our veg vegetable crops are still a good um, source of food. But once the growing season stops, so I'm going to make mixed meals. Uh, so a mixture of meat and vegetables. And then finally, when the uh, the veg does run out, we will just have meat meals. Which means we're going to really have to be concentrating on the hunting at that point, which is not necessarily our strength, but still. I'm sure they will find a way to do it. Right, so that's that's gone, that's in, that's growing. This all stuff is all be ready to harvest. Nobody's done it yet. Right, and uh, we're we're working good now. The thing I want to look at now is researching. And the reason why we're not doing any researching at the moment is because we're doing a lot of hunting. How, where is Val? And how much more hunting has he got to do? Val the chief. Alright. Okay, there doesn't actually appear to be any more stuff left to hunt here. Let's just make sure that this stuff is all marked for hauling. This is all fresh meat. We want to make sure that we get the lot of it. Because that's going to help us a lot. Yeah, that's still fresh. Don't have long to get these up. But uh, still. It would be a shame to waste them. There we go. That's going to make things a little bit uh, easier. It's going to be harder for people to actually see all these corpses on a day-to-day -day basis. Which just makes things a lot easier. And some research has been done. Uh, what well, I'm thinking about, actually. Zone, home region. Just want to make sure that nobody goes in there to clean the place. And I'm also not particularly worried about any, it catching on fire or something silly like that. So, there we go. That'll do it. Uh, as soon as we get um, incineration done, we'll get all these corpses removed. But for now, that'll do the trick. And 
and we're going to need to work on a stone working area which is probably going to be down here next to this pastel which I haven't bothered mining yet because it's not exactly important to the colony at this point but what actually is important to the colony at this point is let's get a bit more of this mined out so we'll have that like that like that it's Lane's chronological birthday today. Biologically, she is 34 years old. Chronologically, she just turned 64. Ah, so, 30 years spent in a cryptoseek casket. Uh, right, what is our hauler and what's he doing? Our hauler is, yes, it is Hay House. So, Hay House, what are you up to? You're probably off hauling that, yeah, I thought so, you are hauling that, uh, deer which is not necessarily a bad thing just be good to get it done because it's a long old walk down there but never mind we'll deal with that a mysterious blight has destroyed our crops just after harvest not particularly worried about it well, if you're going to rest take some of these in there we go that looks a bit better we just get a few people to do that from time to time, then we can... Uh... Oh, it looks like we've actually hit our resources limit, which is not good. So let's deal with that. Power, solar generators. Where should we put them? I'm thinking here. One, two... That overlapped, didn't it? Oh, there's a slight bug in the mod there. But, uh, that way we can put um, a few more into the side where we wind this area out a little bit. And end up with a nice big bank of power. We'll wire that up like that. And I think like that, yes. And let's be honest just in case like that there we go so that will get us a bit more power just hope that, well this, this this isn't going to freeze for much and we'll turn some lights off if worst comes to worst what's that more mushrooms green caps I think it's time for that to go to be honest with you and that's because the building there is uh no, let's, let's deconstruct that and we'll put a power conduit in its place just get the resources back because we don't need that anymore there we go finished cremation excellent so build crematoriums which can vaporize unwanted uh, corpses uh, right we want the stone cutting so we can actually get some defenses in place and we will get the crematorium worked upon fairly soon. I think I'll put it down here. Alright, so we've got plenty of cloth coming up. And we've still got the food coming in. That's all looking good. These will be built in a moment. I think, yep, yeah, it's time to mine out this room. So, orders, mine have this metal while we're at it like that and like that we just wall this off when it gets mined out mushroom oh, there was a mushroom there it died I don't know why never mind lane Prioritize cutting glow bulb. Um, not a hauler. Oh, that's enough to get hauled. We don't have enough people quite yet for what we want to do with this stuff. Uh, one of our biggest problems is hauling, but we will deal with that. Ah. Oh, we're going to make a, a meal out of. Mushroom of wheat. It sounds quite nice. But, uh, let's see. There we go. We're getting some some power generation there. Um, 
while we're at it, let's stick in another battery. Don't want too many batteries, but a couple will not hurt. Well, not that much. And yeah, then we'll start working on the crafty area here, which will probably be this episode. Next episode, we should have stone... Well, we're going to have stone cutting done in a moment. And it's time to start looking at our defences, which are probably... I'm going to still build down here. Search screen... Uh, yes, let's do geothermal power. Because we have this nice steam gazer here, which will take care of a lot of our power requirements. So that's a good one for us to have. And, well, we're in September already. Good lord. Uh, if I remember... world uh yeah and we're actually outside of our growing period now so this could very well be our last harvest and we don't actually have that much in the way of food stored uh, it's going to be important for us to uh, to get as much done as possible probably being our hay hay house does all of our hauling all of our construction uh, Tawi does our mining and does an excellent job of it, but uh, yeah, can't do everything. Wooden wall, along there, there, and there, and we'll have a wooden door there, and we've already got one there, that's good. Okay. But still, we've got a load of food, and there's still loads of hunting opportunities, and these mushrooms are just going to help us. So, I'm not particularly too worried about it. We will get there. Uh, I must admit, I can take the weight off the vegetables by switching over to a mixed diet at the moment. How much meat do we have? We have... Yeah, we have nearly 800 meat. Let's do that. Okay, so... Bills, add a bill, cook a fine meal. None of your colonists have cooking six. That's a slight problem. Cooking three, good lord. Alright, well we just have to switch between meat meals until it gets the skill up. But never mind, not the end of the world. Oh, hopefully we'll get someone who's a better cook fairly soon. Because that is fairly terrible, really, isn't it? Where are you going, Hay House? Alright, okay, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Lane. Cutting car. Oh, yeah, you're planting that area. That's good. Hay House. Yep, yeah, you're doing the hauling, getting this this food out of the ground before it rots. I'm glad I'm happy with that. It's actually starting to look like we've got a decent stockpile of food there. It's not the end of the world. And this room is nearly built, which is excellent. Let's just make sure it's part of the home home region. It is. In fact, let's put uh, that into the home region as well because we want to make sure that uh, that that food grows without being set fire to still getting another crop of potatoes it's it's getting colder but it's not terribly so yet these rooms are all nice in temperature 22 17s yeah they're all right um, we'll get these sorted out later on uh, trade ship is passing by. They are a slave trader. We haven't got anything like enough money to do with a trade trader. But the opportunity. Val is our, our talker there. And so let's have a chat with them. Okay, so. Hmm. Just outside of our reach, these guys. Why is Sleepy so cheap? Okay, put a pessimist and trigger happy. I'd have thought 
No injuries. Oh, it's such a shame. That would be a good purchase, but we don't quite have enough. Mm, I suppose I could sell one of our existing colonists, but that kind of defeats the point. Okay, one colonist idle. Hay House is idle. Can't have Hay House being idle. Let's stuff the hall. Uh, more resources. You put more wood. In there and yeah, there wasn't there wasn't anywhere for hauling wood. So yeah, you get that wood hauled there, Hay House. That's excellent. Good job there, man. Good job. Okay, that's starting to look a little bit better. And I'm sure we'll find yeah, the mushrooms are spreading nicely there. I'm sure we will find a job for you. And in fact, I've just thought of one. Okay, order. Um, actually, production. Let's start getting some of these real. So we'll have a tailor's workbench and we'll put it block by sandstone chunk. Okay, if you're going to be like that, no, actually, everywhere I want to put it is going to be blocked by sandstone chunk, but we'll put it there and we'll have a smithing bench there and a stone cutter's table. I want to put somewhere else actually and I think we'll do the stone cutting down here so we'll put the stone cutting table there and I want to make a stone cut uh, a stone dump so we shall do that so we'll add a zone stockpile nice big stockpile like that yeah like that there we go and all we want to store in here is is stone so stone that's stone yeah stone blocks there we go okay so actually preferred um, storage this is normal Chunks, yeah, okay, stone chunks is what we want actually. So, store stone chunks and store stone chunks. Where are they? Stone chunks, there we go. Stone chunks, steel, steel slag chunks. Take steel ch slag chunks off of there as well. Now, get those out of there, which is probably going to make Hay House a little bit sad because of the corpses there, but we'll, we'll deal with that. Um, my biggest worry it was food at the start of this episode we're getting near to the end of this episode now and I'm becoming less and less worried about that I've got to be honest with you uh, are we storing metal here because that doesn't seem to be getting hauled either um, raw resources no we're not are we so steel silver oh shit just gold Still, let's just get all that stored out there. Okay, so a trade ship is passing by. A solar flare has begun. Excellent! What a combination! All right, so looks like we're getting a bit more sorted out now. Um, we can start getting all these stone blocks hauled. Hay House, yeah, Hay House. Now he's he's, he's hauling that steel out here, which is great. That's going to start looking a bit better. Um, next episode, I'm going to work to work on the defences. I'd like to get a geothermal plant up, and a bit more preparation for winter. I want to get the, the the textile industry going fairly soon as well. There's geothermal power, and our next one will be brewing because it's just going to make them feel better over the winter. There we go. Right. So until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been the Rimworld. Thank you and good night.